Hey everybody, it's Jay Goodman from Absolute Zero Internet Studios and today I wanted to uh, share something that I came across while trying to figure out why I couldn't get to a particular website. So now sometimes the internet is slow, uh, for me at least, and even sometimes certain websites work and others don't, which just leaves me completely perplexed. And when I did a Google search to try and find some solutions here, uh, something that was very interesting was the fact that it could be a result of your DNS servers that your ISP is using to look up domains. Okay, so what's DNS? Well, it's a set of instructions that tells the Internet what domains are going to be referenced to a particular IP address. So essentially, DNS is a set of instructions. A DNS server sort of acts like a switchboard since communications across the web work by referencing IP addresses or, or these numbers like 26.58.186.6 or something like that. So DNS servers serve to interpret these IP addresses and tell your browser which domain uh, or and actually I'm sorry so the DNS servers so the DNS servers exist to get information from your browser and then convert that into an IP address, call that computer, and then get the information back and send it back to the browser. So, you know, maybe a dialogue might go like something like the browser going, yo, what's the IP address for Google? So the DNS server comes back and says, Google, Google, okay, it's 74.125.196.113. Okay, cool. Um, can you ring them up? I want to see what's going on with them today. And now the DNS server then converts that Google.com into that IP address and calls that computer and says, yo, anybody home? Well, if they get a response, then they take that response and they send it back down to the browser. Okay, mission accomplished. If not, it says, sorry, nobody's home, or if it's taking too long to load, or whatever the case is, it sends that information to the browser. So what does this have to do with connection speed? Right, well, if your current DNS servers are slow, you don't have to be stuck with the ones that your ISP provides to you. You can use different DNS to get better performance. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So check it out. I found this cool uh, utility called Namebench. And I'll put a link below there in the comments section or the description section. But you can download this for free, and what it does, it's really cool, does a search for a bunch of DNS servers and then rates them as far as traffic and accuracy. Then it will return, it takes about five minutes to run this report, it returns a recommendation on which DNS servers are the fastest, the closest, and the best for you to use. So I went ahead and I ran this, and it came back and said that this uh, WTEC link ATT was the best DNS for me. To use. So what I'm going to do is all I have to do now is log into my router settings and change the DNS routing instructions or the DNS server. I got to tell my router don't use the ones that my ISP wants to use. All I, I want to use these particular ones. It's really easy. It's like one step. I'll show you how to do this. I'm going to go into my router and you would do this by clicking on your, uh, typing in your default gateway. So if you don't know what your default gateway is, real easy to find it. Click on your start bar and go ahead and inside this little area here, type in CMD, which will generate, uh, this will launch your, your command prompt and then just type in IP config. And when you see default gateway, this tells you what your default gateway address is. Mine's 10.0.0.1. I'm going to go back in my browser. I'll type that in. Now, this is Netgear. Obviously, if you have a different router, your router software is going to be different. But essentially, what you're going to look for is domain name server address. Okay, so mine's set to get automatically from ISP. Now, I already know. I already have these in here from the report that I did. So the only thing I'm going to change is I'm just going to tick this. And then I'm going to enter in the primary and secondary. Primary being, okay, use this one. And if this one's too busy, then use the second one here. And the name bench report will give you uh, a couple of different options, which is kind of slick. Then all you have to do is hit apply. And your router will go ahead and apply that. 
and then that's it. So this, while this thing is applying, I'll just tell you that uh, these are typically free DNS servers, so they could change. It's not likely, but just remember that one day you can come in and have no internet. So maybe put a sticky note on your monitor that says something like, hey, no internet, check DNS, or whatever whatever you can do to remind yourself so that you don't have to waste an entire day talking to your internet service provider trying to figure out why you can't connect to the internet. Another thing that I've also done is switched the DNS and then switch it back. And I think that that kind of resets uh, for the ISP because I've done that and I've also got increased performance as well. So I hope that this has helped you. I always like to try and and spread knowledge and information, and I thought this was a really cool tool. Please leave a comment or a question below. I appreciate you watching these videos. I hope they've been helpful. Till next time, Jay Goodman with Absolute Zero Internet Studios. See ya!